Good morning, welcome to Oil for the Journey. I'm your journey reader, Anita. Today's reading is taken from the book of Psalms, chapters 136 through 138. Our scheduled reading follows the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth campaign. So without further ado, let's dive into God's word. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever and brought Israel out from among them, his love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever, and brought Israel up through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, his love endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, his love endures forever, and killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever, and Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever, and gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever, an inheritance to a servant Israel, his love endures forever. He remembered us in our lowest state, his love endures forever, and freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. He gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, his love endures forever. Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the poplars we hung our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs, our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Remember, Lord, what the Edomites did on the day Jerusalem fell. Tear it down, they cried, tear it down to its foundations. Daughter Babylon, doomed to destruction, happy is the one who repays you according to what you have done to us. Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Psalm 138. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness, for you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. May all the kings of the earth praise you, Lord, when they hear what you have decreed. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands, the works of your hands. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Father God, I just want to simply praise you this morning. I want to thank you because you are quite simply worthy of praise. You are great in ways that we are not. You are limitless in ways that we are not. You are everything to us, Father God. You are everything that makes us who we are. So I want to praise you for the fullness of your presence. I want to thank you that although you are not a God who is fully knowable by us because you're so amazing father God you day by day you welcome us in to just enjoy and to just live in your presence so father God I just want to thank you for that privilege and I just want to thank you for the privilege of being able to praise you today and every single day Lord God and I just pray that you would help us to live with praise in our hearts that praise would be the way we live our lives that we would always count the ways in which you have saved us always count the ways in which you are good to us always count the ways in which you are good period and let that be the focus for each day let that be the focus for whatever life throws our way Lord God let us always just dwell in your temple let us always dwell 
where your praise is. Let us always be worshippers, be praisers, beyond songs, beyond church services. Lord God, let that be the state of our hearts. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you.